it's happy mail queen happy friday to everybody so as you can see here the sign says so scrappy 79 this is mimi's channel and this is a video response to so scrappy 79's 900 plus subby challenge giveaway hope i said that right um so anyway uh she is well over a thousand now uh, subbies so congratulations Mimi but anyway I wanted to share what I created for her <clears throat> and um, I basically didn't know what to get this girl because she shops like I do and girl I don't know she has everything what do you get a girl who has <laughs> a bunch of dyes and stamps and whatnot so um, so I decided to just you know make I mean, I'm giving her some goodies, but um, mostly handmade stuff, I guess you can say. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with, let's see. So I have her stuff packaged in these cute little bags. These are Daiso bags. You know what? Let me just hold on. Let me just scroll down so we can see. And look, it's a mess, and I purposely left it like that. Sorry, guys, let me just move my camera over. I purposely left my mess there so um, I can refer to any products that I use so that I think I have most of it here, if not all. Um, I was trying to clear my desk, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's still a big mess. So, okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys. Let's see. I don't even know where to start. Well, okay, let's just go here. So I, I used this uh, Daiso packaging, and I made this little, um, what do you call it, clothespin. Um, just, that's the Michael's ribbon from the $1.50 bin. And I just used some you know flowers from my stash, a little bit of eyelash trim. And then in this one, let's see. Aha. Okay. So this is the one of the first hand, handmade items. This is the last that I created, but I wanted to give her some washi tape. So Mimi, please don't watch this video if I didn't say that. Um, <laughs> so you can be surprised, but I really need to get this up so that um, I don't forget. And, and it's not too late, you guys, to join her challenge. Um, she is announcing, or her challenge ends next week, Saturday. So that's the day before Father's Day. You still have time, so get your entries in. She has some great prizes, you guys. So, um, yeah, just get your entries in, please, and support her channel. I will leave her link down below and also link the... Uh, the rules okay on her channel so anyway i created this um, and i used to make this a while ago this is a, a keychain that has washi samples i used to do this with my um pocket letters when i was swapping pocket letters i am no longer swapping pocket letters at the moment um but oh shoot sorry my dog, my dog just uh, ugh, made a little mess. Okay. Anyway, um, so I used to be able to create the washi samples using, um, do you guys remember fragments from, I think it's Tim Holtz or uh, Ranger? And they're no longer around. I mean, I think they've discontinued it. Um, the fragments and I know one of you guys ha uh, wanted a tutorial or you asked me what I used um, before and yeah I just haven't been able to do a tutorial because I there's no fragments they're just obsolete now I guess <laughs> so um, I decided well what else can I use so I decided to go ahead and use some acetate because I had done this before with um, some mason jars um, so what I did was I just used my tag die, and it's the Sizzix tag die, which of course I don't have in front of me. Um, but you guys might be familiar with this die. It looks 
here you can see the small you can see the shape of it hopefully right here you can see that i don't know if you can see that but um it's the one that comes with like three different sizes i believe and this is the biggest one and this is the smallest one right here and I just um, gave her some samples of washi. If you guys want a tutorial, I can do one um, with this now that I've figured out how to do my samples. I've only created this um, one other time. Okay, so I gave her samples from this washi tape here, which is my story. Um, and it's because it's full of butterflies and I don't believe she has this, hopefully. So <laughs> um, I know... I. I think she got the paper I'm not sure I think she was looking for the embellishment pack maybe or it's the other way around but anyway thought I'd share that um, just in case she didn't have it and except with the exception of this pink one right here this is um, from the Heidi swap one but I just wanted to add it there so that this is not just by itself right here um, and then just added some tool trim on the bottom and then this um, blingy trim from downtown LA so that's the first handmade item that I made her and then I also made her a teeny a small shaker which was supposed to go inside her flip book but yeah it didn't fit so here it is <laughs> here's my shaker element um, it's a little shaker tag I've been wanting to make a shaker tag for a long long time and I love this tag die you guys know I've been using it lately and this is the that I can show you this is the because um, I know I think a couple of you had asked me what die and this is the paper tray ink right there tag sale number 10 and this is the die and it comes with um, the little uh, banner um, and then I used another die which I can't find right now it's somewhere in my room but I basically um, used this tag die and then this one and this is the one I shared this on one of my haul videos um, you can create a window with this die this other tag die here and it comes also with a banner but um, that I forgot what the name is but it's another tag die from paper tray ink um, and I love it because I can just it creates the window and um, it's easy to make shakers so I've been meaning to use the dies I'm trying to use the dies that I haven't used or I haven't used in a long long time so so I basically basically just embellished it just put some sequins from my stash and then I colored up this a little um, greeting farm stamp and she is the fairy she's the Anya and that's my favorite line from the greeting farms this is flutter Anya she is super super cute and um, Sabrina and did a, a bunch of um, a, a couple of years ago I think she did a bunch of uh, projects with this particular stamp and I fell in love with it this is the other um, die that I also I mean die stamp that I also use called Fairy Queen Anya and you're gonna see that later on my flip book okay so those are the two stamps and I believe that's the only two stamps I used um, so I just put seam binding and I think it came out so cute and so colorful and um, I love it and I just put a little trim on the bottom here and this trim was gifted to me by Sophia. I love the trims she's gifted me. And I tried to do the hair shiny. I'm a little out of practice, you guys. I mean, I don't know. I'm so inconsistent. I was telling Mimi this. <laughs> sometimes I can color, sometimes I can't. So anyway, so that's a number two um, homemade, I mean handmade. And then, oh goodness, what did I do with the other one? I kind of packaged things already, so... Um, okay, here's the other one, and I just kind of made this little, again, another bow clip, but this time I put some tool, um, fringe tool trim there, and this little, um, this is a Wild Orchid Craft uh, crocheted flower. I've had it in my stash for the longest time, and this is a Daiso paper clip, so it's very shabby, and that's kind of my theme here, if you haven't caught on yet <laughs> I'm kind of going a little shabby because I haven't done a shabby chic project in a really long time you guys and 
I've been inspired by all the wonderful cards that I got from my challenge, all the shabbiness. Ugh, I love it. So you guys have inspired me. So I just had to do a, a shabby chic flip book. Okay, so this is the next item I sewed for her. <laughs> I used to, um, I've made uh, these pillow sachets before. Uh, I had seen, this is like, I don't know how many years ago, but I think a couple of years ago maybe. Um, I had created some heart uh, pillow sachets um, and I followed the tutorial. Well, she didn't have a tutorial, but she, I think she described what she did. Um, Juliana, who is, oh my gosh, I'm going blank right now. Um, but she used to be vintage scrap. Oh goodness. I'm going blank, but you guys know Juliana, right? She does a lot of shabby chic projects. So anyway, I just decided to go ahead and, of course, make a butterfly. I, I couldn't help myself. I had to make a butterfly, and I used um, one of the templates that I have. This is a chipboard. Um, I think this is from Michael's, you know, one of those chipboard uh, for mini albums. Anyway, I just traced this. Um, Except for the middle part here. I, I knew I wasn't going to really use the body here. And then, because um, I knew I was going to put a flower in the middle. And then I just embellished it, you guys. So, um, used my, what are these called? P um, pinking sciz scissors. And this part here, Mimi, you can remove if you decide. I mean, you can hang it or you can stick this in your drawer. And it does smell like lavender because I put um, lavender, uh, um, dried lavender in there, sachets. So it smells really good. So yeah, I thought that was so cute. So there's another handmade project. And then um, I also have this big bag here and it's just full of like... I don't know, just goodies in there, you guys. And I kind of, sorry, for this one, I think I taped it down. So I can't open this one. Um, I also am sending her another washi. And this is a really cute one. And you guys might have seen me um, do a haul video on this. I had to pick one up for her because Mimi also likes these um, teapots. She loves like tea, teacup, teapots kind of thing theme also theme projects so I thought I would get her one too so there's a bought one <laughs> okay here's another handmade item I told her I was gonna um, make her some stick pins um, reason is that I made her a stick pin cushion and I didn't have time to make like some really nice stick pins like she did for me when she gave me um, sorry, let me refocus. Um, my teacup, uh, what is it? Cushion. <laughs> I can't even talk. Um, so I created her some stick pins and it's, um, in this little box. It's not a box actually. <laughs> it's, um, just a little holder that I created and I used for this and for the flip book, I used this pretty pretty paper which I think I'm practically out of it because um, I used it for this project simple stories vintage bliss and I know she has this paper as well but I don't think she's used it yet but I thought this was perfect for her because I can do a shabby chic style and it's full of butterflies you guys and a lot of blues because Mimi loves blue that's her favorite so uh this is what I came up with so I just used um stuff from my stash this trim here that Sophia had given me um and also that trim Sophia gave me this I believe this butterfly is from uh, uh a trace of sparkle Jen so thank you for that Jen and I um just used some flowers from my stash and what else it has a magnetic closure and then when you open it it's full of sick pins and uh I just created uh ouch oops <laughs> don't stick your hand under here because there the stick um the pointy part of the stick pin is here underneath okay so 
just be careful of that. Um, I don't, I didn't have those little uh, rubbery stoppers that you put here. Um, I don't even, I don't even know what those are called, but yeah. So you know what, guys? I'll be right back. I'm gonna do a part two.